Hello and welcome back to another Top Biz Guides tutorial. In this video, I'm going to give a short overview on the manager view that we can see in the web dashboard in our home base account. So right now we're looking at Thursday, July 20th. That's today's date. And I see that there was a shift for Chris from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. But it's 5 now, an hour after the shift ended, and Chris hasn't clocked in, right? So I see not clocked in. So this is why the manager view really is important and it shows you the important things that you don't want to miss as an admin. So there's a bunch of quick actions here that I can take that really make my life as an admin easier. So I want to walk through them and show you why they're helpful. So I can see that the shift ended an hour ago, but Chris hasn't clocked in. So there's a few things that I might want to do here. If it was earlier, I might want to message the employee and ask him, hey, listen, I see that you're scheduled, but you're not clocked in. So it's very easy to message. All I click here, and then it'll open up the chat on the sidebar and then I'll be able to type in a message. I could say, hey, Chris, I see that you have a shift scheduled now, but I see that you haven't clocked in yet. Is everything all right? So that's one option. Another option is to call the person, right? So I could view phone number and it'll open up Chris's phone number and then I'll be able to call them. Another option is to click find cover. This will actually create a group with the relevant people who can replace Chris on the shift, perhaps, and it'll actually give you a template already written out and you could just hit enter and send the message so this is kind of cool you see so it'll actually already say when the shift is it says that you see that they're available and it asks if they can cover and then you'll also be able to see if they've seen it or not once they see the message another thing to do could be add clock in so let's say that you know the shift has ended but i actually spoke with chris and i know that he just forgot to clock in or there was an issue and he couldn't clock in so um no worries i could just click over here add clock in click on edit, add the start time and end time of the shift, add any notes, add any tips, cash or credit tips that they received throughout the shift if relevant. And then if there was a break, I can add a break as well. So a 30 minute break, this will be an unpaid break. Let's go ahead and add in the break, click on save. And then we'll see that after we've done that, we'll be able to see it under completed. So the two shifts that have been worked today on Thursday, July 20th are now completed and um, have been resolved. So that's it. So that was the quick overview of the manager view. I wanted to show you how you can use this dashboard in order to communicate with employees who have yet to clock into a shift and you want to check the status of or edit their time card. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it helpful and I hope to see you on the next one.